of hope, you can still go I never ran, said it, no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hello, my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I wish you could see my <laughs> makeup station right now. I have been playing around um, with these palettes um, I'm really excited about this uh, latte uh, makeup trend that's going on right now. And so I literally have been playing around in my brownish palettes, um, trying to recreate this look for you. And so I think I have something down packed. I've looked at this one. This is the matte bar. Of course, I'm going to um, leave a link to all of the palettes that I think would suit this trend. But I think I have it together. So... Let's go in and prep the face. I've already been moisturized and primed. And you guys know I'm all about the 10 minute face, okay? So please don't expect this to be um, anything other than what a TI is, okay? So first things first, because I wiped off everything. So I just got this, um, you guys saw, I'll leave a link to the video that I did last week. Um, you guys saw that I do get laser hair removal. And so in doing so, I do have to wear SPF. And so I have run out, I'm sorry, this place is such a mess. And Maverick is behind me, so you may hear him. Um, I have the Unseen sunscreen. I showed you guys this last week, but I have not made it to Sephora. Full transparency, I'm trying to stay out of Sephora because I cannot go into Sephora without spending something. So <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to Sephora. So I got this Age Shield Face Oil-Free Sunscreen Broad, Broad Spectrum 70 from Neutrogena. I love Neutrogena as a brand. And so I meant to get actually the Sheer Face, but I saw this one, um, or the Sheer Shield, um, and I'll leave a link to that below. They have so much sun protection. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to try the Age Shield Face Oil-Free Sunscreen because I don't want it to plug my, my pores. And the reason why I got this one is it protects from both UVB and UVA. Let me see if I can read this. UVB rays harm the skin surface. UV, UVA's more penetrating rays damage it, damage collagen and elastin that results in the signs of premature aging, fine lines, wrinkles, sagging age spots, broken capillaries, and uneven skin tone. And so as a woman of color, we have to be very mindful of discoloration and things like that. And then you guys know I love the dairy and the gluten, which always makes my skin go a little crazy. Anyway, I got this one. So I'm going to put this on now. And I don't know if it's going to leave a, a mark. I don't know if it's going to turn my face white, <laughs> which a lot of sunscreens do, which is why I stick with the unseen sunscreen. Okay, so it might. Hold on. In this light, it does not. A lot of them turn your face white right away. This one doesn't seem to. So we're gonna take it right down the neck because I get I get my face, neck, mustache, all of that lasered. And so you have to be very careful with sun protection when you are doing laser on any part of your body. So when I go to the beach, I am sunscreened up, arms, legs, everything. All right. So that is done and it doesn't feel oily. And why does that matter? Because I'm about to put on my brows and I don't want my brows to slide off. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and powder my brows anyway. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I live in South Florida and the humidity here, it's crazy. If you live in a New Orleans or a Houston or any place that's humid, you know that your brows will slide off. And so that being said, I only stick to two um, eyebrow pencils, the Anastasia, which is my holy grail. And then I discovered this a few months ago. This is the um, Arches and Halos by Tanya Crooks. I discovered this and she's been doing what she needs to do. Oh Lord, please don't let, oh, I, thought it, I thought it was done. <laughs> you saw the, go back and watch the horror that just <laughs> came to my face. I thought I was done. Oh, wait. Wait, no, please don't be done. And so I'm going to do my brows really quickly. For those of you who know how to do your brows, this should be easy peasy. You can fast forward this part. But for me, oh, I have some peeling here. I'm trying to have ice cream sandwiches with Riley. You can always tell when I have dairy because my skin just goes all blotchy. All right, like right here, we can see this. We'll fix that. All right, um, let's do the brows. So I always do 
the bottom first and I just do a strong line, light strokes, okay? And then I start in the middle or three fourths of the way and I just to create the top. I'm a class of 97 <laughs> graduate. I'm a 90s girl. And so I was one of those girls that had the thin, thin eyebrows, okay? And so I'm paying for it now in my 40s. <laughs> but who's paying for it? Because we can always just draw in a brow, right? These brow, these brow pencils and powders were made for us. So as you can see, I'm just doing light strokes just to give me a brow. Then I comb through the front so that it's not as harsh. And I haven't been waxing under there. I don't know why. I just kind of like that it has hair there. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's you too. I haven't been, I haven't been waxing lately. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like that. Um, so this one, same thing. Kind of draw the top. I've been doing my brows since I was 17, guys. So if this looks like, how the hell is she doing that so quickly? Because I've had many decades of practice. <laughs> I know what my brows are supposed to be. All right, so basically just coloring that in. Coloring that in. That looks about right. If I make any mistakes, we'll just correct it with concealer. But I'm literally just running errands today. I'm not doing much. Trader Joe's and possibly Barnes and Noble, okay? <laughs> so they don't need to, they don't need to be, they don't need to experience a, a full slay. All right, how many minutes are we in? Oh my gosh, six minutes. You guys know I'm all about a 10 minute face. Let's, let's get through this. All right, so eyebrows are probably the hardest thing to do. This is feeling a little dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with my caudalie. Should I do that though? No, I'll just go in with a moisturizing concealer or a concealer that has a little bit, I feel, a little bit more give. So I'm using the Milk Cosmetics. A few of you have asked, this is number nine on um, Instagram, have asked about this because I did it in a reel. So I'm just gonna do under my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna do in here just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit because there's a little bit of discoloration. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna, oh, my new brush. So I got this new brush. You guys know that I, live and breathe for this here artiste brush i have this brush the artiste one then i got this one off of amazon i'm gonna leave a link to this one i don't even know if they make this one anymore anymore um i'm not quite sure if the brand is even in operation anymore but i have this one as well i'm gonna leave a link to this uh set this is part of a set but when i went to maryland i didn't want to take my brushes with me so i got this little one and it comes in a case, which I love, because if you travel with your brushes, you know how they can get stuff dirty. And so I got this little kabuki brush. So I'm just going to dab that in a little bit. And what I love about this is that it actually, this little point right here, it gets like right under your eye. I love that. Isn't that cool? Just right under your eye. And then I can take the excess and just wipe it on the eye right i'm in love i'm gonna get one for i'm gonna get one for each purse because i feel like this just changes the game because who wants to travel i mean you can travel come on now we can travel with this but i mean gosh just to have something like this in our so i'll leave a link to this and i love that you can just put it right there i'm gonna use it for my foundation um okay so let's get into the eye. i hope i'm not flashing it when i sit down the shirt pops up for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Um, <laughs> you, you might get flashed the breast, okay? So here are some palettes that I looked at for this here latte makeup situation. Um, I looked at The Warrior by Juvia's. I've had this for years, and I think I've only used it like maybe four times, the makeup, makeup pollock in me. And so this one has the brown and the kind of bronzy. Let me tell you, the latte trend is really just like a brown bronzy kind of look, which is what I stick to anyway. So I have this one, but this is more like cool browns. Then I thought about this baked browns. You guys have seen me use this before on my channel. This is from Dose of Colors. Um, I'll link, all of these are going to be linked below. Now, the Lorac palette, I feel like this is what we're going to use. I feel like this is the epitome of the latte look. So, yeah, we're going to go in with this one. 
but I feel like we need to do something with this soon. So maybe next week we'll do something. I just don't know, but I want to show you those. All right, so latte look. What we doing, sis? What we doing? We, of course, first need to give ourselves a transition color. This is the Lorac, Lorac Pro Palette in Soleil. I'll leave a link to it below. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna give ourselves a very orangey brownie. We're gonna go in here, these two. We're gonna give ourselves an orangey brownie transition shade, okay? And really and truly, when you have these colors here, you can kind of just mix all of them together. There's no, it's makeup, guys, and you can always wipe it off if you don't like it, okay? Like, it's not, it's not rocket science. Have fun. Watch these videos and just have fun with it. Yours may not be latte. It may be a chai latte, okay? <laughs> it may be a caramel macchiato. Just make it fun. So typically... Like when I saw the latte trend, I wanted to make it flat. I wanted to make it matte. But that look is a little bronzy, right? The one that's going around, the one that's going viral. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to mix these two. I'm gonna dip my finger in and see what we come up with. Yes, that's what we wanna do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want to do. And so what I also want to do, because it's very like smoked out on the bottom from what I've been researching. Let's see. Is that coming off on camera? There we go. Sometimes the way it looks in person is not how it's coming off on camera. And I want to make sure that you see the full breadth. There we go. Okay. Ooh. So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to take the excess and I'm going to put it on my cheek. And you're like, what you doing that for? Because it's going to show up over the foundation. Okay. So I'm going to do the other eye. And I just mixed these two. But again, if you want to stick your fingers in all of them, it's your palette, darling. You do what you want to do. Okay. So I'm just going to rub that all over the eye. And then I'm going to make sure to get underneath. I use my fingers a lot, guys. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> you can use brushes. Like, I definitely do use brushes. But sometimes the warmth of your finger with the palette and then on your eye, it just, oh, I love that. Sometimes it works a lot better. So, again, I'm going to rub the excess off on my cheek. Do I have any more? I'm going to rub that on my lips. Why not? All right, so we're looking beautiful and bronzy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into these two colors. I want to kind of deepen it up a little bit with the matte color. Again, I'm going to do these two colors. I want to deepen that up a little bit. See, it's looking very smoky and, oh, I love this. Mm. I think I actually want to, this fell out of one of the little palettes, one of the thingamajiggies. What I want to do, I think as well, just to smoke it out a little bit more, take this brown, you can use a brush, you can use one of these. It's just, this is what's available to me. And I want to smoke it out even more with the matte brown. You can achieve this with the eyeliner as well. I'm just doing it with the powder because that's what I have in front of me. Okay. All right, now that I've done that, I don't even want to do eyeliner. I'm just going to put on mascara. So I'm going to put on, mommy's doing the dishes. You may hear some clanking in the back. I'm going to use my, what's this one called? Lash Clash by Saint Laurent. And I'm just going to, you guys know I love mascara, so I can give you mascara, darlings. I can give you mascara. 
but you see how I didn't really need a liner once I smoked out that bottom lash with that matte brown, right? All right, I do not wear lashes, guys, because again, I'm just going to Trader Joe's. <laughs> and then on a on an average ordinary day, um, I just don't I don't I don't have time. I could make time. Let me not let me be clear. I could make time. I just don't feel like making time for lashes. So I try to get the best mascara and do the best lash I can with what I got. Okay, so we'll do the lower lash line here, or the lower lashes. Again, this one is a little sparse. I might get some um, lash serum. I don't know why. Maybe because I sleep on this side, I don't know. This one is not as vibrant. How are we feeling? Okay, so final, one of the final steps, I'm using my Chanel Ultra Latent. You guys know this one and my Armani are my two favorite. We're gonna go back in with this Kabuki brush and we're just gonna, I wanna show you the coverage. Are we ready? Do you see that? And so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to take it up here to clean up See what I'm talking about with that point? To clean up anything that I had under the eye. But look at that. Oh, that's so good. I don't typically take foundation up to the up in my forehead because I'm gonna do it right here with a uh, with my eyebrows because the sun hits you right here. So you're typically darker on your forehead than you are on the rest of your face. So again, just gonna do a light one there. Want to make sure you can see how good this brush is. Yes. Do the lips. Why not? Do the lips. All right. So, oh, I forgot to clean that up under there. All right. So, last step. I'm going to put this away. Look at this. I love this. Just close it right up. Love, love this. Love this. I don't, I shouldn't say last step. So what I want to do, where is my NARS? So here is the NARS Overlust palette. You guys know that I love my NARS, what is it called? Taj Mahal. And this would work, except I don't necessarily want to go orange, okay? I want to, whoop make sure I didn't tip you guys. Ah, sorry if I tipped you guys. Um, I want to stay kind of brown and bronzy. So there we go. And we can see how the bronze kind of is coming through. The bronze that I put on my, from the, what you call it? From the eye. I'm feeling a little froggy. I'm feeling like I'm gonna use my fan brush. I feel like I wanna use this gold from the Juvia's palette and I wanna kinda of make that a highlight. It's like a bronzy gold. Let's try it out. If we're gonna do bronze, darlings, do bronze. Ooh, <laughs> let's do it. You guys see that? This fan brush, I'll leave a link to this fan brush. I don't think I've really shown you guys this fan brush. I use it when I'm doing like my date nights. You put a little bronzer, not bronzer, highlight, highlight in there above your brow, anywhere that the sun hits. Mm. And then for the lip, you guys know, I'm gonna be doing um, NYX Nutmeg. I don't even necessarily think you need a liner, but let's do a liner. Let's do a liner and we're going to use my favorite Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline. I've seen that you guys are loving this and I'm loving it too. I'm going to leave a link to it below in the description box. This is the best, hold on, I got a little. This is the best brown girl nude 
you will ever find. You hear me? Look at that. I should have done a scrub on my lips because you can see it's a little, little chat right there. But it'll be okay. Mmm. This just finished off this look lovely. Do we like? And how many minutes was this? Like 20 minutes? And that was with me talking. <laughs> so I'm going to leave. I'm looking good for Trader Joe's, honey. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to... Oh, the eyes look... Oh, I'm going to leave a link to this palette. To this palette. To this palette. If I can still find this, this palette, this, um, that palette, I'm going to leave a link to the matte bar because these two, if you're on a budget, I feel like you can create something similar, but the parts of this palette is actually really, really good. So I'm going to leave a link to that. I'm going to leave a link to this and definitely the sunscreen. Um, it's not coming through at all. And I love this look so i hope you enjoy thank you for playing around with me you guys know that whenever i'm going through something playing in makeup always makes me feel better and i love that with me showing you guys how to create this look that you're feeling better as well so i hope you're able to join me please like and subscribe you know us youtubers we gotta tell you to like and subscribe but if you like my makeup tutorials please go ahead and like because that's how i'll know that you like this stuff and also leave a comment which part was your best and if you will be trying this latte makeup trend at home i will be there are more oh lord the lips lord <laughs> let me go do a scrub and, and put this lipstick back up i can't go uh, back on i can't go out in the streets with chapped up lips oh what would they say about my household darlings all right let me go fix my lips and um i will see you again soon Mwah. bye <laughs> oh lord mm -hmm. go, go.